everyone. Um, we're doing a quick uh, hand contact for attackers video here. We're really working on controlling the ball. Um, when we would go up and attack it, can we direct it by changing what we do with our hand? So a lot of times, most hitters, honestly, they hit directly in front where they're facing. We're going to work on that a little bit to get a feel for just contacting the ball correctly, but we're also going to work on moving it around a lot. The big key, regardless of where we're hitting the ball to, is how we're contacting the ball, though. So we're, we're spending a lot of time on that. Um, I'm going to repeat throughout this video a big phrase, a big focus for us, is trying to get my whole hand on the whole ball. Um, so really, we're going to start out with something really similar to what we did in the ball control circuit number two, where we're hitting the ball back and forth to ourselves. Um, as we did that, I, I talked in the video about like in slow motion if I'm hitting the ball. So again, my hand is not flat. This entire video, my hand is not flat. My fingers are forward. I've got kind of a ball-shaped hand here. If it were super, super, super slow motion, it would be the heel of my hand hitting the ball before my fingers. But since we're in normal speed here, it's going to look really just like one motion. So as I contact the ball, you see it like that top spin comes from my hand rolling over the ball. So in super slow motion, that's this, then this. But what we're working on is getting my whole hand on the whole ball. When I say my whole hand on the whole ball, my fingers are spread out. I'm trying to like, you. I want you to not even be able to see the ball as I'm contacting it. I've got a big hand with my fingers forward. My whole hand is on the whole ball. That's the thing, cool? So we're gonna start out by juggling the ball back and forth to ourselves, hitting it, right, left, right, left. I wanna get my whole hand on the whole ball. So for this, we're hitting it up instead of down, but similarly, we wanna work on that same hand contact. As I'm hitting it up, I wanna get as much spin on this ball as possible, and I wanna generate that spin by swinging up through the ball, not going horizontally under it. So I could get back spin by doing that, right? But then I'm not getting my whole hand on the whole ball. If I swing up, my backspin, there's a lot. It's going fast, fast, fast. That's our goal, and that's coming because my whole hand is getting on the whole ball, and I'm swinging up through it. Cool? So we're going to start out. We want 50 total contacts. I'm going to hit right, left, right, left. My goal as I'm doing this is to make the ball spin back towards me, and I'm going spinning as fast as possible. We got it? So here we go. We're getting 50. touching the ball? Is the heel of my hand touching the ball? Is it spinning back towards me? Whole hand, whole ball. That's my 50. If you're not there yet, pause the video, get your 50, and then we'll move on to the next thing. So next up, we're just hitting the ball down against the ground. So now we're swinging the actual way we would. We want to feel that same hand contact, but now it's going to be on top of the ball. I want my whole hand on the whole ball as I'm doing this. So we're just going to be hitting the ball down against the ground 30 times. When you're doing it, notice how my elbow is coming up and I'm swinging up, around, and down on the ball. I am not just going from my elbow right here. This is not what we're working on, right? Elbows up high, I'm taking a good swing, I catch the ball. Up high, big swing. So that's two for me. We're going to get 30. So I got 28 more. Here we go. It's my elbow high. When we're doing this, it's a good idea for our right handed hitters to have our left foot forward. My right foot is back. My elbow is high. Halfway there. Elbows high, whole hand, whole ball. Awesome, so that's my 30. Again, finish your 30. If you're not there yet, pause the video and then we can move on. Next up, I'm gonna be using the wall here. So if you don't have a wall that you can be hitting against, then totally fine. 
it's going to sound silly. I want you to just get rid of your ball and pretend you're doing it without one. If you're, we're not going to be hitting the ball so it'll bounce super high off the ground, but if you're nervous about that, we could also do this with the ball, but be kneeling on the ground. What you would be doing, if you're kneeling on the ground, I would, as a right-handed hitter, have my right knee on the ground, my left knee forward. If I don't have a ball, totally fine. I'm an imaginary. We're hitting the ball against the wall here. So if I do have a ball, if I'm kneeling on the ground, if I'm pretending I have a ball, we want to focus a lot on how we're tossing either our real ball or our imaginary ball. Every time we do this, it's always going to be tossing with two hands. For those of us who are standing, we're going to toss the ball with two hands. We're going to step forward with our left foot if we're a right-handed hitter. It absolutely has to be that left foot that's coming forward. I'm going to toss. I'm going to step. I'm going to swing. I'm going to try to bounce the ball so it hits off the ground, comes off the wall, and I'm going to catch it. And that's going to count as one. As I'm tossing, this is super critical that we get the toss right or it can totally mess up our arm swing. So pay a lot of attention to your toss. Make sure you're getting it right. We're tossing with two hands, and our goal is like you can't toss the ball too high for this. So if you're inside doing this, I'd recommend you get down on your knee so you have room to toss almost up to your ceiling. If you're outside, toss it way up there. We want to contact the ball when it's we are extended and the ball is on its way back down. I do not want to be hitting the ball on its way up. I do not want to be tossing so that I'm hitting it right when it gets to its peak. I want to toss it up and then swing when it comes down. We got that? So that's really key. So for this, again, we're just hitting 30 balls. I'm going straight ahead, right at the wall. Two-handed toss. My whole hand is on the whole ball. Here we go. This is what it looks like. We're doing 30. Good top spin on that ball. You should feel the whole hand on the whole ball. Let's make sure we're stepping with our left foot and swinging through with our right. You'll notice that every time I go and I toss the ball up with my two hands, my ball. Extended all the way up until I swing through. Once I contact the ball, is when my left hand drops down. Our whole hand on the whole ball. Got five more. So that's my 30. If you're not done yet, pause the video, finish your 30, and we'll move on to the next thing. Cool. So next up, we're going to work on kind of manipulating what we do with our wrist to direct the ball. So again, I think most people attack the ball straight ahead, just like we were working on. We're going to work on trying to hit a crossbody shot with a thumb up, or what we call a wrist away shot with a thumb down. So a cross body would be, I'm looking straight at you, and I'm going to attack the ball by hitting the side of it, and it's going to go that direction. A wrist away, thumb down shot, I'm looking right at you. I would be hitting it with my thumb down. The ball is going to go that way, away from where I'm looking. So these are really, really effective. It's really tough to get the hang of it, though, so we want to really work on it. So really similar to how we started, we're going to be hitting right, left, right, left, right, left, juggling to ourselves. This time I'm going to start out by trying to make the ball spin inwards. So it's not, instead of this time, previously it was spinning at me. This time it's spinning side to side, side to side. We got it. So we're going to do 50 total contacts. Same thing, I want to get my whole hand on the whole ball. I'm working on getting my thumb and using my wrist to hit the outside of the ball. So here we go, we're doing 50.
whole hand is on the whole ball. My wrist is what's really generating that spin. This one's really tough, so maybe the ball's kind of going all over the place for you right now. Totally fine. Just grab it and get back at it. We need to get our 50 in with our whole hand on the whole ball. So if you don't have your 50 yet, pause the video. Next up, we're doing the same thing, but now I'm trying to make the ball spin the opposite direction. So I'm trying to make it spin outwards. I'm going to work on getting it with my thumb now down and my pinkies are coming through the ball first. So this one I think is really tough. This is the hardest one for me. Same thing though, we want to get our whole hand on the whole ball. We want to get 50 contacts. Here we go. Again, if you're not there yet, let's pause the video, let's get our 50, and then we're moving on. Cool? So these are going to be our last two little exercises for this workout. Um, we're going to work on now hitting the ball towards the wall. First, working on that cross body shot. Second, working on that wrist away shot. So again, if you don't have a ton of room vertically to toss the ball high, we could do this down on our knees. Again, I would want as a right-handed hitter. My left knee is up, it's forward. My right knee is gonna be down on the ground. When we're setting up to do this, so on the previous one, I was hitting straight ahead. So if I take my left arm straight ahead, my right arm is parallel to the wall, I'm gonna be right in the middle of those two. I'm facing 45 degree angle right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my good two-handed toss. I'm gonna take a step with my left foot along that 45 degree angle straight to where I toss that ball. And then I'm going to work to contact the ball with my thumb up and hit a cross body shot. So I'm really kind of hitting the side of the ball here. Watch me do one quick. Watch how the ball spins off of my hand. It's going to come down like that back towards the wall. So here's one. Take a look. Here we go. So that's our goal. We want it to sound just like that off of our hand. So we made a good solid contact with our whole hand on the whole ball. If you're down on your knee, it's the same thing. I'm facing at that 45 degree angle. I'm going to toss straight ahead. I hit that straight at the wall. If I can't hit against the wall, I want to pretend, hey, I have no ball. I'm pretending I do, and I'm doing my standing version. So I'm going to toss. I'm going to make sure my, my off hand, my guide hand is up. My elbow is back. I'm going to step towards where I tossed it. I'm going to swing through cutting it back to the wall. You'll notice on my follow through there that as I swung, my right foot came forward and around. We really like that as we hit. Cool. So here we go. I'm going to do 25 of these standing. If you're on your knee, if you're pretending, you're doing 25. If you're pretending, take it seriously though. Really imagine getting your whole hand on the whole ball and cutting it back. So here we go. 25. My whole hand on the whole ball. Let's make 
sure we get our 25 in. If you're not there yet, pause the video. Everyone else, we're moving on. Here we go. So our last one, we're working on that thumb down, wrist away shot. So for this one, I'm going to be facing kind of the other direction here. So if I'm facing directly at the wall here, my right arm's pointing right at the wall. My left arm is parallel to the wall right now. I want to be not quite at that 45 degree angle. I want to be a little bit closer to facing right at the wall. So rather than at 45, maybe I'm 25 to 30 degrees. So I'm a little more faced like this. I'm almost straight ahead, but not quite. As I contact the ball, I'm gonna work on my thumb down. I'm contacting the left side of the ball here. And you see my whole hand is on the whole ball, right? If you feel like your shoulder hurts you a little bit as you're doing this, where you notice that you're hitting the ball kind of down here like this, what that means is that you need to face a little bit more straight on to the wall. So we want to, again, focus on contacting the ball at a full extension, up high, out in front of us. We're doing 25. Here's what one of them looks like. Watch me, and then we'll start. Here we go. So you'll notice the ball on this one is now spinning down and to the right. That's exactly what we want. If we get our whole hand on the whole ball, that's what's going to happen. Let's do 25. Here we go. Same thing. If you don't have room, we can be on our knee. We can imagine. 25. One. Two. Three. Four. That's it. Um, I know these can be really challenging if you've never worked on them before, but please spend a lot of time on this. This is like an advanced skill that you can get really good at with some easy practice on your own. I'd really recommend you take a quick video of yourself as you do these and watch how you're contacting the ball. Am I getting my whole hand on the ball? Is it spinning the way we want it to? We want a lot of top spin on all of these contacts, so let's really work to get that.